Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront updates and some more Star Wars Battlefront 2 content. In this video I wanted to continue my class deep dive for the Starfighter Assault game mode. And next up we have the Interceptor class. This is the class you should pick if you want to focus on killing enemy ships. It's the class with the fastest ships in the game and on top of that they're also a lot easier to maneuver and you can pull off some very narrow maneuvers that you can't do with the other classes. They aren't really equipped with any good abilities against objectives but the abilities are heavily focused on targeting other ships. The two interceptor ships that are available in the Gamescom Starfighter Assault build is the A-Wing for the Rebels and the TIE Interceptor for the Imperials. Compared to the Fighter and Bomber class, the ships actually have the same abilities both on the Imperial and on the Rebel side. So the abilities I go over here are both for the A-Wing and the TIE Interceptor. First off we have the afterburner ability which is basically a speed boost and something to keep in mind here is that in this game compared to the previous one you do not deal less damage the faster you fly. This means that you can use the speed boost both to engage an enemy and escape an enemy which gives it a little bit more use than in the previous game where you did a lot less damage when you went for a high speed. The second ability is the target lock. This locks onto an enemy and gives you a harder lock than you normally have, meaning that if they fly out of your sights, around the ship or behind you, you will still keep your target on them and you will also deal bonus damage. This means that if there's someone you're really going after, you can target them and you know for sure that you will have a chance to take them out and it's gonna be very hard for them to actually escape you, which is one of the abilities that makes the ship ideal for going after other ships. And finally it has the concussion missile. A missile that you can lock on and fire and that does moderate damage, so it deals a little bit less than the Proton Torpedo. And keep in mind that both with the Concussion Missile and the Proton Torpedo, you can either lock on by pressing once and then pressing again to fire, or double tap if you want to fire it freely, such as, as when you fire at an objective, because there's no real point in locking on if you're shooting at a stationary target. The star cards are also identical between the two ships. You can either have one that reduces the overheat cooldown, one that increases your time to overheat the primary weapon, or one that increases your primary weapon fire rate. So pick the two ones that you feel fit the best. And the biggest difference between the A-Wing and the TIE Interceptor is that the A-Wing has a lot higher fire rate on its gun and it doesn't overheat as quickly as the TIE Interceptor does because the TIE Interceptor on the other hand fires a bit slower but overheats very quickly. So personally I thought it was quite hard to use because you usually overheated before you had a chance to kill the enemy but that's most likely because the shots do deal a lot of damage more than the A-Wings meaning that if you are very accurate the TIE Interceptor can be effective. And that's also a big reason to why you might want to pick different star cards for the two ships because the TIE Interceptor might need that reduced overheat cooldown whereas the A-Wing don't. So that is the Interceptor class in the Starfighter Assault game mode in Battlefront 2. And I would recommend using this class when you want to defend objectives and take out other ships, because as I mentioned, it's not the most effective ship at taking out objectives. All you can do is shoot with your blaster and fire the concussion missile. But that brings this video to an end. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, may the force be with you.